Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Dehumanizer 2. Today we're going to be looking at sci-fi processing, which is made even easier by our brand new vocoder module and changes to our pre-existing ring modulator. As you can see here, we've got several features to go through. First, I'm going to show you the mode. In here, we have three modes that you can choose from. Pitch tracking, manual and noise. I'll start with manual first of all, as this is the classic vocoder that you would expect to hear. Manual has one control, which is the frequency. This is a pitch that is set by you. I'll demonstrate it here. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. In response to dynamic changes, loud and soft that responds to temporal changes. As well as this, you can change the carrier waveform over here on this dial. We have several to choose from, as you can see, including popular ones like square wave, sawtooth, and impulses. I'll give you a quick demonstration of each of these. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes, loud and soft. It responds to temporal changes, long and short. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes. Depending on the carrier waveform and vocal input, you'll need to maybe adjust the EQ settings to get the exact sound that you're wanting from this. There is also these attack and release controls, which are the envelope for the vocoder. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes. Loud and soft. So back into mode again, we have the pitch tracking. This follows the audio input's pitch, and you can set the frequency min and max as the range of pitch it follows. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes, loud and soft. It responds to temporal changes, long. This is great for more emotive dialogue styles. The last mode to choose from is the noise option, which is great for layering. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes, loud and soft. It responds to temporal changes. So next, let's take a look at the ring modulator. So I'm just going to hook this up here really quickly. As you can see, we've still kept some of the features of the previous ring modulator, including the depth and rate. But now we've given you the option to be able to change the waveform that you want to modulate with. It used to just be the sine wave. Now we have all these other options. So I'll give you a quick demonstration here. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes. Loud and soft. It responds to temporal changes. So as well as the ability to change one carrier waveform, we've given you the option to change two. So in here, we've got the option to blend. And the blend allows you to create a mix of the two carrier waveforms together. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes. Loud and soft. It responds to temporal changes. Long and short. Down here is a completely new feature altogether, which is our LFO. You can adjust the rate and the amount of LFO that you apply to the sound. We've also included a bunch of LFO waveforms. And as well as the modulation section, you can blend between these all as well. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes. Loud and soft. It responds to temporal changes. Long and short. This is a sample for testing dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes. Loud and soft. It responds to temporal changes. So now that you've seen the two brand new features of Dehumanizer 2, we can have a look at some sci-fi processing. Up here I've got a bunch of presets that I've already made. I'm going to demonstrate some of these sounds in real time for you. Hello, who goes there? Target acquired. Intruder alert. Some nice glitchy subtle robot sounds right there. Or you can have much more major fluctuating voice sounds. Oh, who goes there? Intruder alert. Target acquired. 
as well as this you can create more buzzing sci-fi content. Hi, who goes there? Tie that flag and trigger a rap. Or you can create something that's more tonal and harmonic. Welcome, Commander. What is my purpose? Target acquired. Intruder alert. As you can see, as quick as that, you can create a bunch of sci-fi processing dialogue with all the new features provided in Dehumanizer 2. For more information, visit crotusaudio.com. Thanks for watching.